3, 2, 1. Good morning, everyone. We are now once again here in a great cooking show called 45 Minute Meal. And of course, I'm here, John, your host, and we're here with the chef de cuisine, Mr. John Michael Ann. Yes, and of course, our producer slash cameraman, Mr. Ellie John Kaluya. Give it up, come on. In our today's meal, we will prepare a great and exciting dish called baked chicken breast in orange liquor sauce with mashed potatoes on the side. Now, let's go right here in our chef de party. Chef, what will we do first and what are the missing plus? Yes. We got here a potato, the uh, carrots, orange, and all-purpose flour, egg wash, and breadings, and our chicken. Of yes. course, uh, breast. wonderful chicken, chicken breast. Breast. That's really great. For the sauce, we got red wine, brandy, milk, salt and pepper, and sugar. So of course, just to say off the the basics of it, how to make a, an egg wash? Egg wash is um, egg and Cream milk. Oh, cream milk. Oh, okay. So that's how to make an egg wash, guys. Yes. And of course, let's go right over here. So first, we put our potato in our casserole wow. with cold water and then start the fire. So how many minutes will we put this to uh, make potatoes? Today? Until the potato is softened. All right. And then while we wait for our potato, we will garnish or put some salt and pepper for our chicken. So it's like putting some seasoning. Yeah, right? seasoning. Yeah. First for chicken is the salt, and then the pepper. Then put this is in flip the chicken. Alright. Put some salt again. Alright, so put seasoning. Some salt. This seasoning. is a rock salt. It's not but then of course is it okay salt. to use a rock salt yeah. rather than iodine salt? Yeah. Looks delicious now. Then start the, the pan. Wow. All right, so as we can see, I am rubbing all the seasonings so that it could absorb the, 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 the pepper and the salt in it. So yes, it's really great. So while waiting, just, just like <laughs> do this one. <laughs> himas, himas. So we will wait for our pan and put some oil. Mm. Really delicious oil. Wow. Spread. You need to spread the oil. Alright. And wait until the oil. Okay, we are now cooking the chicken breast as you can see now our chef the cuisine is now going to put one part of the breast in the oil and of course in the pan there you go you can see how the texture and the moist of it changed because of the seasoning that we added and the tender and juicy uh, things inside it. it's really great smelling it mm, wow yum texture of the cooked chicken now you know you it's just you can just wait to eat it because it's a, a, a whole chicken breast and it's pure chicken breast as in eating something that is tender and juicy and, and all the seasoning and spices great <laughs> yum yum <laughs> <laughs> now what's in here so chef we have Chicken stock. Of course, we have our chicken stock right here with that chicken bone. So chicken bones. 
All right. And then we got this for our sauce, the beef stock. Uh, here's the beef stock right there. Mmm. Now, right now, I can smell the, the, the juicy and the aroma of the chicken. It's really great. Mmm. Look. Then while we're waiting for our chicken, put some oil here. Okay. So what's this for? For the chicken, we will put the chicken in the oven. We will use this one. Oh, okay. To bake the chicken. Yeah. Of course, we need to have oil in our pan so that it won't stick in the pan. Yeah. All right. So we're preparing for this one. Mmm. I think the chicken is... It's still sticky, but, you know, we're going through the, the stage of cooking the chicken. So it's really great yeah. looking at it. So while the chicken is cooked, we will do the sauce after after we put the chicken in the oven. Okay. What? You're yeah. the chef, but I don't know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so you're, I think you're a guest. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm a host. Host slash guest. <laughs> because I'm just watching, but then, of course, I need to say something in here. And that's my contribution for our project. <laughs> project for what? Swim luck. So say hi to our prof. Yes. Hello, Miss Season. This is our uh, lovely project. Hope you gave us a great, good grade. Hey. And of course, we have four more guests coming up, and uh, we are still waiting for them to come because they're busy. They're they're doing some uh, recordings, but they will be here in a short time. So just check it out. Check them out later. And I think this is okay. All right. I think. Our chef think that the, the chicken. chicken is done. Then we we'll put the chicken here. All right. Let me help you with that. Okay, there thank you. Go. Yes, ma'am. Oh, All right. Let's see see that tender, juicy. And of course, after putting it the chicken in a pan with oil, we will now bake it. Of course, in an oven. Here we go. We're now go going to the oven. Put our chef. That's our chef putting now the chicken in the oven. Mmm, yum yum. Really great. Wow. So we will wait for 20 minutes for the chicken. What's the temperature of the oven? 180. Alright guys, that's 180. Alright. While waiting, this pan we use for chicken. We will use for our sauce. And of course, we, have, we will now create a sauce for our chicken. So first, we need the sugar. Alright. Put some sugar. Mmm. Mmm. Ping, ping, ping. Mmm, <laughs> wow. It smells great, actually. And wait. And the sugar. And then we put our red wine. Oh, what's the method? What's that method called for deglazing? Oh, of course, it will be glazed. Mmm, the, <coughs> the aroma of it. Great, man. It's, it's really great, the aroma of the red wine. And of course, we have a really high, <laughs> a really high heat. So that's why it created smoke. But if you lessen your heat and if you put the, the red wine on it, it'll be fine. But <coughs> right now it's still fine, of course. And of course, after putting the red wine or the thing that we call the glazing, we will now put our orange juice. There you go. Wow, really great. Looking at that, well, I can see nothing, of course, but the sauce will be great for our chicken breast. Baked chicken breast, of course. Got this one with the eight piece. And then of course we will now put our butter after putting the uh, of course no. First of all it'll be the orange, the pure orange that we will put into our sauce. So it'll be great. Mm, wow. 
And of course, as you can see here, the, the potatoes are still boiling up so that we can see it soften later on for our mashed potatoes. Let's just wait for a while and then we will put now our orchid triple sec. Of course, that's for the, the, the sauce. It's really great. It tastes great, actually. So, you taste the sauce? No, I haven't tasted that yet, but I think it'll be great, of course. Mm. Alright, so I'll be doing some testing, of course, so that we can prove that it's, one, it's a wonderful taste. Well, it's the spicy and the tangy flavor that, you know, combines its, its uniqueness, but it's great, actually. Seriously, honestly, it's great. The sauce is great. Perfect for the chicken breast. So, we will check the potato. Check the potato. Mm, I think this is enough. So what do you think? Jump on. I think it's not that soft enough yet. After this one, we put the carrots. The frosted side dish. dish. This is the carrots. This is the orange. And this is the carrot for the side dish a bit. But then we will just prepare this for later. This is the sauce. I think this is enough. So the sauce, it's, it's great now. It's, uh, it's sweet, tangy, but it's perfect. I think it's perfect for the... So here's our sauce. We will put some beef stock. Of course, what's the beef stock for? For... Yeah, it's for the glazing part, of course. We will simmer it down so that it will be as pure as the sauce and the, the content of the recipe would be there. And you can taste actually all the sweetness and the, the tangy flavor of the orange and everything else. Yeah, we'll put some butter. Of course, a butter. What's the butter for? But I can smell, it's really great. The smell is really great with the butter. And I think, what, what's that for, Chef? Mm, just another recipe, right? Yeah. Wow. Of <laughs> course. So, I think the potato is okay. Yes, let's now check our potato. I'll be the one who checked it. Sure. All right, let's see. Whoa, there you go. It's smooth and easy, but I don't know, Chef. What do you think? It's smooth and easy if I, if I, if I fork it up. See? Is so, it fine now? Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so our potato is fine now. And the next step of, what, of it is, of course, wait for the sauce to be cooked and wait for the oven to be cooked to cook the, the chicken breast. Chicken breast. Everything will be okay now. And we'll drain the potato. Oops, it's hot. Be careful. Side dish, we need to boil it first for it to soften. We need to mash the potato. After mashing all the potatoes, now we will now put butter in it so that we, we can have that flavor of uh, some, some you know, green flavor of it. Okay. And of course, let's add seasoning. 
That's really great. That's really great. Mm. You know what? While you're doing that mashed potatoes, I'm actually missing my mom because my mom is a great cook and she always does that in our, in our dinner. So, wow. Miss your mom. Don't cry, don't cry. Yeah, of course. I won't cry. Maybe later. If I see her, I'll cry and say I miss her. But then, of course, we are now here with our chef de cuisine, Mr. Michael Ang, doing Alright chef, let me taste it. No oh, wait. Alright, so salt. Mmm. Wow. Alright, so after doing our mashed potatoes, we will now do it like this. It's like we've done it in a circle form. So chef, what is that? Mashed potato we will um, use the all purpose flour and then we will put this in the egg wash and mm. then yum. Breadcrumbs. Wow, that's really great. So I think our guest is there. Alright, so please welcome our lovely guests for today. Alright, Mr. Alright, hello. Hello. Woo! So uh, there they are. Cooking. <laughs> there they are. So, so what okay. can help me for this one? Alright, so everybody just feel free to help. I'm gonna help. So I think you need to wash your hand first. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is for sanitation, of course. <laughs> Then while waiting for them, I'll put the oil for deep frying. I'm just going to put this in. And then start. How is it that you use flour and breadcrumbs on one hand, but the egg wash on the other? Because this one is the dry ingredients, and the egg wash is the wet. wet. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. use the your. I use my right hand for flour, and then I use my right left hand for egg wash, and then I use my right hand again for the breadcrumbs. Mm. But but why not use just one hand instead of both? So if you use your both <coughs> hands in flour and egg wash if you put the mashed potato in Sorry. in this one the like this one the breadcrumbs will stick, stick on your hand and it's a base of ingredients mm -hmm. and of course after doing those circle things of course there's some mashed potatoes and breadcrumbs so what's next chef we will wait for our fry and then of course let's where's our first sugar Look at that. Look at that. It's cute. At the same time, I want to eat it now, even though it's not cooked. Because, man, I'm so hungry right now. Alright, after putting the sugar, we'll now put our butter. After putting the butter, there, just slide it through the pan so that it won't stick. Everything won't stick. And then I guess our uh, mashed potatoes turned into round things will be deep fried after. Alright, so our lovely guest will now deep fry it. I'm gonna need there you go. Fry. Check the oil. The oil is hot. So the mashed potatoes will be deep fried for how many minutes, chef? If the oil is hot, I think it's good for two minutes, one to two minutes. As long as it's golden brown, right? Yeah. All right. And now, of course, we are now going to our chicken so that we could see if it's already cooked. Let, let us see. Wow, I think it's really, it's cooked now because it's still in the pan and there's some juices spreading all over it. So I think it's pretty ready now. <laughs> the 
<laughs> now we are now uh, slicing the chicken breast. Of course, uh, we can see. There you go. Mmm, that's tender and juicy. Now I just want to eat it right now. You know, it's really great. There you go. I have the plate for the plate. Uh, of course, this is for the carrot sauce and this is for our orange liquor sauce. Seriously. Alright, I guess we are done. I think we're done. Okay, let's go on. Look at that. Mmm, really great. Of course, we will put our sauce in there later on to, to present it. But Chef, can you tell us something about what you've done? I think it's a masterpiece. Yeah, this is for the carrot sauce. Our main entry with sauce, and of course, that's what we call baked chicken breast in orange liquor sauce with circle round mashed potatoes. Woo! Yay! And of course, to taste our masterpiece, Mr. Melvin. Melvin Magarana has to taste it off. Come on. How's it? Mm. Nothing salty, nothing sweet. Just right. Mm, wow. Wow, okay. wow. Yeah. Yes, now of course, for the host, it tastes good. Let me see. <coughs> Fantastic, you know? It's, it's like... It's great, it's great. How about you? Go. Sure. <laughs> And of course, it's another day doing a 45 minute meal. I'm John, your host, of course, our chef, the cuisine, Mr. Michael Ang. Yes, and our executive producer, Mr. Ellen John Kaluya, our cameraman. <laughs> of course, once again, thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. <laughs> and I love the guests, of course. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is my. Oh, yeah.